friends in this video we are going to learn about noun noun is the first part of speech what is noun let us see the simple definition of noun noun is a naming word the things around us are given the names and these names are called nouns second definition it is the name of a person place thing quality action state stage or condition collection or material in short all that we can see feel or think are nouns see the examples sapeksh sapeksh is the name of my son who played the role of shivaji maharaj last year he is a good dancer changna is the name of a district in maharashtra jalna is also the name of a city where i live a bat and a ball these two are essential to play cricket goodness and judgment these two are abstract nouns and that's why we can't see them childhood this is a very energetic stage in our life herd of elephants and the last one gold this is a material noun there are five kinds of noun see them number 1 proper noun common noun abstract noun collective noun and the last one material noun let us see a paragraph where some nouns are in red color i am going to tell you about a boy means a boy means this is the common noun means i am going to tell you about any boy his name is raju but the name of that boy is raju here raju is the proper noun and it begins with capital letter he loves cricket and he is the best player of his team here team is a collective noun it is the collection of players means raju is the best player of his team he drinks milk here milk is a material noun so is healthy healthy is an abstract noun he is good at playing cricket but he fell last year he fell sorrow at his failure sorrow and failure these two are abstract nouns we are going to learn about proper noun in detail proper noun what is the definition of proper noun how can you define this noun it is the name of a proper particular special person place or thing means it is not the proper name of a thing it is the name of a proper person place or thing it always begins with capital letter see the examples in the bracket james here the first letter j is in capital letter mina london it is an uncountable noun so it is treated as singular though it is singular we cannot use article a or an before this noun 
So there are some exceptions here, the Himalayas, the Alps, because here these nouns are in plural form. See the example number one, Jalna is a clean city. Here Jalna is the name of a city. Rani is a clever student. Rani is the proper noun. The Himalayas are the highest mountains in Asia. Here two nouns are proper nouns, Himalayas and Asia. Now we are going to learn about common noun. What is common noun? It is the name of a common person, place or thing. We share the common qualities of its kind or class. It is countable, so it can be pluralized. See the example, boy. The plural form of boy is boys. Means the singular noun is pluralized by adding suffix s. Batch, plural noun batches. Here, the suffix es is added to the singular noun. It does not begin with capital letter. Number four is very important point. Here, determiner like article, possessive adjective, demonstrative adjective, interrogative adjective, distributive adjective is always used with common noun. Is we can identify common noun with the help of the determiners. See the example, I met a man, here man is the common noun and article a is the determiner which determines the common singular noun man. Each boy and girl was given a whole apple, each is the distributive adjective means it is determiner. Each boy and girl was given a whole apple here. Apple is also the common noun and the adjective a whole precedes it. Let us see the difference between proper noun and common noun. Proper noun always begins with capital letter whereas Common noun does not begin with capital letter. Number two, second difference. It is uncountable, means it cannot be countable. Though it is singular, common noun is countable. And that's why it can be divided into two forms, singular and plural. Number three, we cannot use article a or an before this noun, whereas we can use article a or an before common singular noun. It cannot be pluralized, but there are some exceptions, the Himalayas and the Alps. Common noun can be pluralized. In the next part, you will learn about how a proper noun is used as common noun without changing its form and how a common noun is used as proper noun without changing its form. Thank you.